Kelly, so great to see you. I have to tell you that in honor of the show, ah! okay, I have to put, yeah, so, well, I, I'm a little old, but I did the original junket. For Are you kidding? The, for, I did? No. And this is what they gave me. And this is the only swag in over 30 years that I've I kept. am so <laughs> happy that you, you whipped that out. Look at that. Oh my God. That's, that's a really nice, beautiful piece. I'm glad you kept it so long. It wow. is. And so in your honor, I had to wear it today. I... It's been sitting downstairs in my closet, but well, anyway. I hope you wear it all month. And then when people are like, and then you can just have, like, just free promotion on the street. Just well, keep that's wearing it. Yeah, everybody's gonna think I'm part of the show, you know, whatever, right? So it's all good. You are. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's nice it's to see you. Good to see you. I know we talked for uh, Sugar Daddy way way back when Zoom was just all yeah. starting up. So it's so great to be able yeah. to catch up with you. Congratulations on this. I love the series. I love the kind of reimagine reimagining of it. <laughs> is, that, is that the word? Reimagination of it. And yeah. I love your character. And I wanted to ask you. I mean, let's start with the film because was it something that um, you know, you watched when it came, like, well, you're, you're, you're probably younger than what the movie is, I think, right? I don't know, around that, but you're, you're, right. there, you're just there. But is it something that you've seen like a million times or, you know, what was your familiarity um, with it, it? it? It wasn't something I remember watching for the first time. I've just, I just, it was always in my head. Like, I, I think it was one of those films kind of like Goonies that yeah. it was just on and then I don't remember the first time I watched it but I remember always knowing it right. like completely in the consciousness of my childhood um yeah and then it was obviously like syn syndicated always on television yeah it was like it was like that and the green mile we're always like, just like constantly True. on channel channel 12 or whatever um so I've seen it a bunch of times and yeah. uh, of course as like an athlete myself growing up and, um, you know, someone who, you know, a woman, it, it, someone who is a woman, Somebody it was, was um, yeah. it, uh, it was very formative and emotional. And every time I watch it, I still cry. So exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I was going to ask you that because why even we love these women, you know, we're rooting for them. And, um, but yet this is a true story in terms of the the real league you know mm -hmm. of course the the story in in your series is a little fic fictionalized but why is there no women's league like what is going on after oh, all these God. years like watch men play baseball you know yeah. why can't we have a professional team you know it, it drives me nuts yeah it also drives me nuts it drives me nuts keeps me up at night all those <laughs> things um i think i the the response I get from um, sadly mostly men are sort of like, well, women aren't as fast as men. They're not as strong as men. They're not as like, you know. So why would you want to watch a bunch of women do something like not at the quote unquote level of, yeah. of men? And I just think that's just such a gross misunderstanding of what a sport is. Right. Um, similar to you know when someone's like, well, I don't want female firefighters because I don't if I'm in a fire. I need like someone to deadlift me off the ground. And you're like, well, that's such a gross misunderstanding of what you think a fireman does, like right. assessing fire and risk and all that. And I think the film is such a good, I mean, I'm, this is no spoiler. People have seen the film, but the peaches don't win. Yeah. And so you want, and it is the most successful baseball flick of all time. So to tell me why it is we are excited to watch a sports flick about a team that doesn't win. And right. it's because women are the forever international underdogs and watching, uh, watching women um, in sports like, have like a totally different um, motivation or like they're not necessarily solving problems with like true grit or muscle or like anger and intensity. And yeah. you see that you see that a lot with like the Canadian women's soccer team. Like there's just a different vibe about them. And I think if people get excited about what women can bring to sports, that is not just about like sheer might, then mm. people will watch, um, you know, more female sports. And also I think not to use, not to cross pollinate baseball flicks, but if you build it, they will come. So it's like, I think yeah. audiences, <laughs> I think audiences have the power to make sure that there's an all, there's a professional baseball league. Um, I don't think it's like MLB who gets to choose these things. It's yeah. like we become fans. Like for instance, when we shot, 
when we were training for the for the um for the show we yeah. had these like team usa baseball players like kelsey whitmore and beth greenwood and justin siegel and um and and lena park and now i'm like forever fans of them and watching them play all they all people need to do is just like google one female athlete like one female baseball player follow their career and if you build it they will come or yeah. we will come yeah it's, it it's amazing to me. Well, it'll happen, but you know, maybe after the series, people will watch it and, and maybe spark some let's let's exactly. Right. That's why we're you here. This, yeah. Listen, for sure. So you played this great character, Jess McCready. Tell us a little bit about her and what did you love about playing her? I mean, she's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> she is cool. I mean, I could say a bunch of things, but she's just damn cool. Um, She's a Canadian uh, feral farm boy from Merce, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, who, you know, smokes and drinks and spits and is a shortstop. I mean, like, what's not to like? <laughs> and Seriously, right? Yeah. And when I got cast, some of that was there, but I kind of just kept being like, what if she was Canadian? And what if she was from Moose Jaw? And what if she's like a farm boy? And what if she smokes and spits and drinks and all that stuff? So it was a kind of, you know, I mean, what if she, you know, her, my costume is like the best in the show. Yes. I mean, I just, I don't have a problem saying that. I think my costume is the best. It is good. <laughs> yeah. All, everything great. about her is amazing. Okay. And then no pressure. And this is no secret either because it's been written about and people know who've seen it, but you have the most iconic line that you get to say yeah. that of course, Tom Hanks delivered mm -hmm. in the film. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Kelly, come on, seriously. When you knew that that was going to be happening, like, what was your take on that? You know, were you nervous? That's I, I, okay. I knew the line was mega famous. I don't think until like a week ago that I realized it was newsworthy. Like I was, <laughs> holy crap. Like I knew it was famous. Um, so when I saw it in the script, I was like, oh, I'm saying it, which is kind of fun because Jess is like a, a person of few words. So it was kind of like, it would be funny if they're the ones who gets to say this iconic line. Yeah. I was terrified. I was excited and then immediately petrified. And then I just didn't say it out loud to myself. Not once, not before the camera was rolling. I wasn't like at home, like there's no crying at baseball. I did none of those things. I said yeah. nothing. And I just got it over with and walked away. <laughs> and, and then only recently did it, when I rewatched the film, I realized that Tom Hanks like says it like 10 times so I wasn't trying to be Tom Tom is yeah. Tom no one can be Tom of course but please that's the byline no one can be Tom no uh, one can be Tom <laughs> except for maybe Kelly yeah I don't know <laughs> no 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 except for maybe like Meg Ryan who I just saw them again in sleepless in Seattle and I was like these two iconic right oh I agree well, listen, I, I wish I could talk to you forever. We've got other people waiting for you. But uh, this series is so wonderful. I'm so happy that you're in it. And you do such a great job. And it's always my pleasure to talk to you. So um, take it easy and, and just have fun. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Yes, and keep wearing that shirt. That's very cool. Oh, I will. I'm yeah. wearing my peaches. Yeah, yeah you're, ready. you're ready to go. Kelly. That's awesome. Just for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Take Thanks. care.